Hey guys, this is Mr. A. Crizzy here, and welcome back to another animated movie review. Today's animated movie review is going to be on the 2021 animated Netflix movie that I, that I just recently watched on Netflix not too long ago. And that's going to be on Back to the Outback. Back to the Outback is directed by Harry Cripps and Claire Knight, with music score composed by Rupert Gregson Williams. And <clears throat> so... The basic story of Back to the Outback goes like this. Tired of being locked in a reptile house where humans go gawk at them like they're monsters, a group of Australia's deadliest creatures plots to uh, plots a, a daring escape to from from the zoo. And and of course like you know and, and and of course you get all these like Australian de deadliest creatures and they they have to like they have to try and like and try and like escape from from the Australia zoo and 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 and, and go and go to the outback. And of course, like the, the main characters in this movie involve a snake named Maddie, who's played by Isla Fisher, and of course a koala named Pretty Boy. And yeah. So and, and like I said, they all have to do whatever they can to to like to like get to the outback, and there you go. So, what do I think of it? When I first when I first heard that this movie first came out in December of 2021 last year, when I heard that this movie was coming out. It it didn't because it, I it when this movie first came out when it was being developed and when, when I've seen trailers and promotions for this movie Back to the Outback, I I thought it I thought it just looked like another, another one of those generic like you know kids movies that that people are that most people are not probably not going to be interested in. But then but then after after it first came out, I've been hearing like I've been hearing that this movie Back to the Outback received a, a received a positive reception from both critics and audiences. Even though Met, even though Metacritic has has been indicating mixed or average reviews for for this movie, Back to the Outback, but 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 then all the way up until recently this month, I I watched the whole movie on Netflix, and I'm gonna have to say this movie actually wasn't that bad. I actually I actually thought it was it was a pretty good movie from 2021. Yeah, because because this this movie honestly surprised me. Because I actually thought this was actually a a, pr a pretty good surprisingly surprisingly good movie from twenty twenty one. Yeah, and of course, and of course, it like like when it, when it comes to like you know Netflix animated movies, I thought this this was I thought this was actually a pretty good film. And I'm I'm sure kids out there who have Netflix, I'm sure kids out there will probably enjoy this film if they, if they want if they want to if they want to check out like an Australian animal movie, then I say I say give this movie a watch. And I'm sure there might be some teenagers who probably will like it too. And as for the animation itself, the animation in Back to the Outback, it's a, it's actually not that bad because it's it's like it's like the animation in Back to the Outback is pretty is pretty unique and it's like and it, it does have some pretty visual effects like you know like like it has beautiful visual effects and it's got like like a talented voice cast like Isla Fisher as Maddie like Maddie's actually a pretty cute blue snake and and there was also um Pretty Boy the koala and. Yeah, because I think the voice cast in this movie was was actually pretty good. Like is like is a Fisher as Maddie, and and of, and of course like the actor who played Pretty Boy the Koala. And like, was this movie good as My Little Pony: A New Generation? Well, I would have to say yeah, pretty much. Because I because I I kind of enjoy both movies from on Netflix and. And of course, some some people out there had the, had thought that this movie, Back to the Outback, was was like an all right, okay movie. But and some people may like it, like me, because because I actually kind of enjoyed this film. It was surprisingly pretty good. And of course, it, it does have a, a it does have a, a decent soundtrack as well. Like it's got some songs like Maddie's Lullaby, which is which is beautiful. And there are some, there are some pop songs that were that were, were also featured in Back to the Outback because. Because I actually learned that that right before watching the whole movie, I actually learned that 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 that, that the Billy Eilish song "Bad Guy" actually plays during one scene in the movie. It was it was like when the creatures attempt to escape from the zoo, and then you get "Bad Guy" by Billy Eilish playing in the background. Yeah, there was also another animal animated movie that came out the same time as "Back to the Outback" called "Sing 2. Like you know, "Bad Guy" by Billy Eilish was also featured in "Sing 2 as well, where where Buster Moon and the gang they they they, they all sneak into Crystal Entertainment disguised as janitors. And of course, we all know we all know "Bad Guy" by Billie Eilish was also featured in the trailers to DreamWorks The Bad Guys. It also played during during the closing credits of the 2019 film *Brightburn*, which I have *Brightburn* on DVD, but I haven't seen it yet. Maybe I will check it out at some point. 
But yeah, and but yeah, so Back to the Outback was a pretty good movie with pretty good animation. The humor, the humor itself does get pretty funny at most times. So that I think there, I think there, there's mostly going to be some humor in this movie that's probably aimed towards kids. And, and it's got pretty pretty good voice acting, like talented voice acting, pretty much. And uh, other than Isla Fisher and 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 all the other actors who were in this movie, like. I also learned that some some actors even have a cameo in this film because I actually heard that this one actor from from, from like from like Seinfeld, Toy Story Two, Tarzan, Space Jam, Jurassic Park, like you guys knew know who I'm talking about because Wayne Knight actually has a cameo in Back to the Outback because because during one one part in the movie Wayne Knight plays a platypus during during one part in the film like he plays like Wayne Knight plays a platypus, yeah. So overall, Back to the Outback was was a surprisingly pretty good animated movie on Netflix. And I'm going to give Back to the Outback 3.5 out of 5 stars. So if you have Netflix and if you haven't watched Back to the Outback yet, then I say, I say give this movie a watch if you want. Because like I said, I'm sure kids out there will probably enjoy it. Maybe some teenagers will probably enjoy it. So there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for my movie review on Back to the Outback. And that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.